a great thing, an altogether good gift, the only thing that makes burdens light and bears all that is hard with ease. It carries a weight without feeling it, and makes all that is bitter, sweet, and pleasant to the taste. Love longs to be in the high places, not held down by anything base. Nothing is sweeter than love, nothing stronger, nothing higher, nothing broader. Nothing is more lovely, nothing richer, nothing better in heaven or in earth. Love is born of God, and it cannot rest anywhere but in God, beyond all created things. One who loves is born on wings. He runs and is filled with joy. He is free and unrestricted. He gives all to receive all, and he has all in all. For beyond all things he rests in the one highest thing, from whom streams all that is good. He does not consider the gift, but beyond all good things he turns himself to the giver. Love often knows no measure, but burns white hot beyond all measure. Love feels no burden and counts up no toil. It aspires to do more than its strength allows. It does not plead impossibility, but considers it may do and can do all things. So it finds strength for anything. It completes and carries through great tasks where one who does not love would fail and fall. Love is vigilant. It sleeps without losing control. It's wearied without exhaustion, cramped without being crushed, alarmed without being destroyed. Like a living flame or a burning torch, it leaps up and safely passes through all. Love is eager, sincere and kind. It's glad and lovely. It is strong, patient and faithful, wise, long-suffering and resolute. And it never seeks its own ends. For where a man seeks his own ends, he at once falls out of love. Love is sensible, humble, honorable. It's not self-indulgent, thoughtless, set on foolish things, but is sober, chaste, steadfast, quiet, and guarded in every sense. Love is submissive and obeys those set over it. For itself, it has only disregard and contempt, but is full of devotion and gratitude to God. And it goes on trusting and hoping in God, even when he is no longer sweet to it, for one cannot live in love without pain. Anyone who is not prepared to endure everything and to stand by the will of the Beloved is not worthy of the name of lover. A lover must gladly accept what is hard and bitter for the sake of the Beloved, and he must not have his allegiance shaken if hardships come his way. <laughs>